Hey, what's up? So today I came across about those two beautiful Dell Precision 5570 and 5560. So both devices externally look completely identical. Uh, they both come with a 4K LCD screens uh, with a touch option, uh, with three USB Type-C ports, one audio port, and uh, one full SD card port. However, in terms of specs, they are slightly different. And based on my research, the Dell 5570 runs about 25 to 30% faster than Dell 5560, even though they only one year apart. And the main difference is Dell Precision, and I'm actually going to be reviewing these two, uh, these two machines and their actual specs. So Dell Precision 5570 comes with uh, Core i9 12900H series with 32 gig of DDR5 memory RAM, uh, RTX A2000 graphics card with 8 gigs of memory. Uh, also, this machine has only 512 gig of storage. However, uh, it's upgradable also. On another side, Dell Precision 5560 comes with Core i9 11950H series uh, processor, uh, 32 gig of DDR4 memory RAM, and graphics card is uh, RTX A2000 with 4 gigs of uh, memory. Uh, also, it has a 512 gigs of storage, but again, it's upgradable as well. So, what I'm going to do next is I want to actually take the, take the laptops apart, remove the bottom cases, and actually compare the hardware uh, for, for a matter of repair or upgrade. So, stay tuned. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna start my project by removing the screws from the bottom case of Dell 5570. Very important to choose the proper bit caliber to make sure that the screws are not damaged, otherwise you're gonna be in trouble and it's gonna be, it's gonna take a hell to remove those screws out. Once you pull the bottom case out, we can move to memory RAM. There are two slots. Uh, currently, laptop has 16 gig DDR5 in each slot. However, you can go up to 32 gig for each slot, which obviously make your laptop fly even further and faster. I'm gonna now move on to the storage. Uh, laptop also has uh, two slots available. Uh, they come with a caddy. However, if you are upgrading or adding additional storage, I would definitely advise you to apply thermal padding uh, for uh, to make sure that the store uh, SSD is not overheating. Uh, here is uh, we can see that uh, laptop has a 512 gig Hynix fourth generation solid state drive. Again, the the Dell model number is 0UTVX2. Uh, you can go either by that number or you can actually use a uh, dedicated model number from the Hynix. Now I'm switching to the battery since this is the higher grade laptop. Uh, the, the lap It comes with a top notch battery with the 86 watt and uh, 6 cell battery. If you need to replace the battery, you need to look for the type 69KF2 as a model number. On some laptops, you might be able to see actually the three cell battery. 
So now we're looking to the right side of the laptop where it shows uh, one type C USB port speaker and a full SD card slot. Now we're moving to uh, heat sink and cooling fans. There is a one heat sink is being used for both the CPU and GPU with the two fans. Here I want I want to stop the video and point out the uh, this um, silver metal bracket with the two screws. It has the video cable underneath, so that's what you need to unmount in order to replace LCD screen. Now we're gonna move over to the left side of the laptop where you can see two USB type C ports and the speaker. Overall, pretty much every single thing on, on both of those laptops are located on the motherboard. So if let's say your Wi-Fi card fails uh, or any port fails, you would have to deal with the actual motherboard and uh, either to do the expensive and very time consuming uh, resoldering or just simply replacing the motherboard. However, at some point it's very very expensive procedure because the the motherboard probably gonna cost you at least a half of the laptop sometimes even more uh, as you can see here I, I already took apart the Dell 5560 just to give you the comparison um, it looks exactly the same uh, it has exactly the same battery uh, again the the memory RAM is actually the DDR4 which is uh, slower RAM and uh, a little bit more energy consuming. Again, there is a uh, one heatsink for both the CPU and GPU. Uh, very similar connection for the video cable with uh, this uh, this silver metal bracket and the three screws. Uh, two USB Type C ports on the left side. And lastly, I want to wrap up my little review here with uh, pointing out the major issue I think with uh, uh, with this both of those machines that for some reason Dell decided to actually solder the Wi-Fi to the motherboard. So if in case it fails, you really have to replace the whole motherboard because I mean resoldering it is probably going to cost you even more. So I think it's really a stupid idea, but I guess that's how they making them now and there's nothing we can do. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.